Frankenberry here with some news out of Kentucky Kingdom. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and let's do this thing. So we just got news yesterday that Kentucky Kingdom's T3 is permanently retiring. For those unfamiliar, T3 is Kentucky Kingdom's Vacoma Suspended Looping Ghoster, also known as a Hanging Bang. This particular Vacoma model is notorious for being rough and uncomfortable. While there is the rare, good SLC out there, like the Great Nor'easter at Maurice Pier, they are the exception, not the rule, and T3 definitely does not fall into that category. In fact, I think T3 may be one of the worst of the model. T3 originally opened in Kentucky Kingdom as T2 in 1995. This iteration of the ride ran the original Vacoma SLC trains with the hard over the shoulder restraints, and the head banging that these restraints caused made the already rough and janky ride nearly unrideable and thoroughly painful and unenjoyable. When the park closed under Six Flags and then was reopened under the management of Ed Hart, the coaster reopened as T3 with the new generation Vacoma trains with the softer vest restraints. While this did alleviate a lot of the head banging, the ride is still extremely rough. Even the park itself has made jokes over the years about how rough this ride actually is. I think the only real surprise with this news is that it hasn't happened sooner. And any time in the last 10 years, if you'd ask almost any coaster enthusiast what would be the next coaster to leave the park, almost all of them would have said T3. But now with the news that this is in fact happening, the big question is, what will replace it? The plot that T3 sits on is not all that big. It's approximately an acre if my memory serves me correctly. While it's not big enough for anything massive, there is, I believe, space enough for something decent. I could see a family coaster like maybe a new generation Wild Mouse or maybe one of the new Intamin Hot Racer models. While neither of these are anything that I would consider all that exciting, there are a couple of models that I think would be perfect for the park in that plot. The one I favor more, and also the one I consider probably least likely, is the SNS Axis coaster. I think it will probably fit in the plot, and I know that it will give this park something exciting and also something that will set them apart from their nearest competitors like the Kings Island and Holiday World. I don't really think Herschel will go that route, but if it were my choice to make, that's probably the one I would go with. The other model that I think would both fit well in the plot and also be good for the park to differentiate Kentucky Kingdom from their competitors would be an RMC Raptor. Pretty much everything I said about the Axis coaster also applies here. But if I were putting my money on one of the two, I would expect this would probably be the route that the park would want to go, since the Raptor is a more proven model. However, while I do think this is a little more likely than the Axis coaster, there is still the concern that Hershey may not be all that likely to go with another RMC after all the trouble they've had with Lightning Rod at Dollywood and all the money they've had to pump into that ride in order to keep it running and improve its reliability. So those are my immediate thoughts about this news coming out of Kentucky Kingdom. What do you guys think will replace T3? Be sure to drop your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, y'all keep it between the ditches, you heard? And always remember, life is short. Don't forget to enjoy it.